Hello YouTube, this is the third and the final part of how to solve the Rubik's Cube. If you haven't already, please go and see uh, the videos on how to solve the first and second part. I'll put a link in the description below. And basically the third part is all about memory work. So it's not like the second part where you have to look at the colors, it's more of memory work. So <coughs> you really need a lot of practice if you want to get this right. And grab your pen and paper if you haven't already. I'll be telling you uh, the algorithms on how to solve the third part. I'll try to write them in the description below but if you haven't not if you notice later on uh, that I'll be using uh, up down left and right directions instead of the usual clockwise and anti-clockwise just because I find it easier to remember but this is just personal preference so now let's get started. There are few formations that you have to remember for the top face in order to solve the last layer. <coughs> the first one I'll be going through is the L shape. Okay, what is the L, the opposite L form formation? Basically this, this and this, this tree, this inverted L shape should be yellow. Okay, and you want to make sure that the L is on the top left hand corner when it's facing you then you can start solving then all we have to do is uh, do the algorithm okay I'm gonna tell you the algorithm for this your front face turns to the right your top face turns to the left your right face turns up your top face turns to the right your right face turns down and your front face turns to the left okay <coughs> Now that brings us to our second formation, what I would like to call the fish. Okay, basically this, 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 and this should be yellow. Okay, uh, this, this, and this doesn't matter what color they are. So you want your fish to be facing like this, as in you know gills on top and this. I don't know, it's the fish, uh, the mouth or something. Yeah. So you want it to be facing like this and not this or this or whatever. So you want it to be facing like this. The algorithm for this is <coughs> your right face turns up, your top face turns left, your right face turns down, your top face turns left again, your right face turns up, your top face turns left two times, one and your right face turns down okay and we are back with this fish formation again so all you do is you repeat the algorithm your right face goes up your top face goes left your right face goes down your top face goes left again your right goes up your top goes left twice and your right face goes down wait a minute this is on right. Okay, sorry for that. Anyway, that brings us to our next formation. Uh, this. I don't really know what you call it, but yeah. So basically, this, this, this six pieces and this seven piece should all be yellow. These two pieces, it doesn't matter what color they are. Okay. So uh, for this formation, you do the same algorithm as you do for the fish one. So your right goes up, your top goes to the left, your right goes down, your top goes to the left again. Your right goes up, your top goes left twice, and your right goes down. And this brings us back to the fish, okay? So we keep doing it. Okay, now what I'm trying to do is I want to show you all of the possible formations that uh, is possible for the top face. Now, you have this L, inverted L formation. Not sure if I've gone through that, but these three uh, faces should be yellow in color. And for this formation, what you want to do is your front face turns right, your top face turns left, your right goes up, your top goes to the right, your right goes down, and your front goes to the left. <coughs> Then we have this. Now you have fully solved your top face. Now there are a few other formations. Okay. 
the other one that is less commonly seen is only your middle piece is yellow these are not yellow at all now that is perfectly fine you do the front right top left right up top right right down and front left formation okay and another thing that you do is uh, another formation that you see is uh, these three pieces will be yellow uh, you'll do the same for me <coughs> you'll do the same algorithm as for the inverted L1 and uh, the next formation is the yellow cross what is the yellow cross this 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 and this piece will be yellow these four pieces can be any color it doesn't matter okay <coughs> and you of course do the same algorithm as the inverter L sheet uh, no I mean for the fish one yeah do when you get the yellow cross do the algorithm for the fish formation and I think that's about all the different form formations that you'll come across now for once you solve the top face uh, you want to complete one side okay now you look at this here okay what do you notice this looks kind of special right this uh, with two these two pieces at the side are of different of the same colors but the middle piece is of a different color what you want to do is you want to rotate the thing whereby you get where these two pieces matches with the bottom face colors okay and <coughs> This side should be facing the back, the back, okay? Now, <coughs> on with the next formation. On with the next algorithm, I mean, okay. This is more complicated, so, ready? Right goes down, your front goes to the right. Your right goes down, the back goes to the left twice. One, two, your right goes up, your front goes to the left, your right goes down, your back goes to the left twice again. One, two. And your right goes up twice. Okay, so now what you will get is all of the faces will, all of the top layer pieces will look something like this. <coughs> all you have to do is match it. Look now like what you have done before now it's matching okay <clears throat> you may or may not get this sometimes sometimes you just skip or hit to the next step but that is perfectly fine also once you get this you can just uh it doesn't matter which face uh you're using or is at the back now since all of them are basically the same so once you get this piece we'll move on to the next algorithm which is your left goes down twice one two your top goes to the right, your back goes to the left, your front goes to the left, your left goes down twice, one, two, your back goes to the right, your front goes to the right, your top goes to the right, and your left goes twice down. Okay? Now, then you will move on to this. You have solved one, two, three faces. Okay? And the other three faces will look like this. Okay, the completed side uh, should be on your right hand side, okay, once you reach here. Then you repeat the same algorithm as just now. If you have a completed side, make sure it's on your right hand side. Then repeat the algorithm as just now. Your left goes down twice, your top goes right, your back goes to the left, your front goes to the left, your left goes down uh, twice, your back goes to the right, your front goes to the right. Your top goes to the right and your left goes down twice. <coughs> now you end up at the exact same thing. You <coughs> will keep repeating this until you eventually solve the cube, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, you may have to do this a few times. You repeat the same algorithm. And eventually, there you have solved your Rubik's Cube okay and that is how you solve the Rubik's Cube I will upload all of the algorithms in the description below to the best of my ability okay so uh, watch my first and second video on how to solve the Rubik's Cube if you haven't already then uh, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching